Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Dr. Dees. We are back with another video. So today we are defeating stage 21 of Gear Raid 2. Let's go. So if you have Silas, this strategy is going to work beautifully for you. And you could even replace Silas with like Bierna or Komet. But at the same time, my strategy is with Silas. So actually, you need all these key pieces in here. But before we go over the lineup, I just wanted to say we just surpassed a thousand subscribers recently, and it's a good feeling. I really do appreciate all you guys supporting the channel. I feel like just yesterday we was at 300 subscribers. So, you know, it's it's growing and I can't do it without your guys' help. So I really do appreciate you guys. But let's go ahead and get right into this. So we have Isolde. Brakir and Olog. Those are the three defenders I'm using. These are the only three pieces where you could go a different route. Like you could use a bunch of different defenders. You just got to make sure they have a little bit of survivability. But outside of these three guys, the rest of the team you're going to need. You're going to need all of these pieces. You have to have Vortex mainly because of his range and the fact that he can heal. He heals, he throws on shields, all that good stuff. You have to have Laurel because you need the ultimate for Silas and Dolores to get there quicker. So we drop her down, we remove her. Then you're also going to need Volca, mainly because Volca makes the redeployment time, I think it's like minus 25%. I mean, we'll get into all that later. We don't really use her for anything in this stage, except for at the very end. But the main reason why we're using her is because of that redeployment time being cut down by 25%, right? then you're going to need a booty clapper booty clapper and that is silas for me silas is one of the best booty clappers in the game you mix him with dolores and he's going to absolutely melt everybody let's go and then these two guys are very crucial you cannot do this strategy without these two guys you have to have Desmus and you have to have baron do you want to know why because when they die they're going to stay alive for a short period of time, making it to where they'll hold off the guys, the speed guys. And when I say speed guys, I'm talking about, let's see, where are they at? Um, It is these guys right here. So solid impact. They start coming in all hot and heavy and they're speeding up. And basically they're going to do a good amount of damage, which is why it's crucial to have Decimus and it's crucial to have Baron. You need both of them. Then we have Primitive Golem. Just keep in mind, this guy does this Golem Shriek and oh my goodness, it will absolutely melt whoever you have on. So we do the whole withdraw and then redeploy strategy, right? And then also we have Giant Golem golem right here giant golem i mean he just starts hurling these rocks and it absolutely will kill your guys so there's a little bit of a strategy to it but i'll show you guys after just wanted to go over that right quick um so let's go over how i have everyone built out we'll do this quick and slick honestly the builds doesn't really matter the main guy that matters is going to be your booty clapper you need your booty clapper to be nicely geared outside of that none of these really matter but we'll go over them anyway so we have isold right here uh, Bastion ring is what I have on her. Honestly, you don't need the Bastion ring. It's, it doesn't really matter what artifact you have on her. We go down here. I have a broken set. Put her in a lot of HP. Of course, she's a defender. We want her to survive longer. So HP is always good. Um, I also did a little bit of rage regen, some attack speed, but that is how we have her built. And then we come over here to Dolores. I think I have the euphoric orb. I did not change any of my gears for this stage. I just went ahead and rode with it. And I was like, you know what? Let me just see if it works. And and it works so we also have the invigoration set one of the best sets for her you definitely want invigoration um you want her attack to be as high as possible mainly because of her her ultimate which gives inspiration right we want we want her attack to be as high as we can possibly get it and then i also made sure to give her a little bit of hp this is mainly for guild boss nightmare force she was dying so as you see up here i did put an hp bonus on her mainly because i wanted to keep her alive give her a little bit of survivability uh, then also Rage Regen. Rage Regen is very important for my girl right here, plus 39%. Um, but honestly, all this doesn't matter. You just need high attack for this stage. That's the main thing that matters when it comes to Dolores on this stage. We got my boy Olog. Olog's in a broken set. I made sure to put a good amount of HP. Honestly, you want his HP to be higher. The reason why he needs HP is because of his 
no, not this, sorry. It's because of his passive right here. Every 11 seconds creates a shield that can absorb damage equal to 85% of max HP. The more HP you have, the more he's going to survive and it's just going to be an unkillable Olog. Let's go. Then we have my boy Vortex. Honestly, the main thing you wanna, there's three things you wanna focus on when it comes to Vortex. You wanna focus on attack speed, HP, HP is the most crucial. Uh, mainly because he is HP based healing and he also throws a HP shield that goes off of his max HP so you definitely want his max HP to be as high as possible and then we come down here you want attack speed and then you want healing effect and you also want rage regen so I guess four things but again none of these are like super crucial it's not like a make or break situation you don't have to have him super geared but it does help when you have him somewhat geared and you know I don't have him in some god gear uh, he's only 50 thousand bp but he does the job whenever i need him whenever his name is called i have this set on him and he puts in work that's the main thing that matters next up we have brock here i put him in a lot of hp some defense wanted him to survive longer i also got him with some rage regen but just read him a week that's what i have on him uh, then we come over here let's see who do we have next um okay silas i got him in my best gear Again, this is stage 21. You need, this is the guy that's going to be the most crucial. You need to put him in the best gear possible. So attack isn't as important when it comes to Silas. Most booty clappers, you're going to need to focus on attack first. Silas is one of those where you can you you still need attack but not as much crit damage is definitely more important and then you also need crit rate so again you do need attack but not as much as normal so we got attack i also did his crit rate plus 81 percent then plus 241.5 percent on the crit damage i mean we also got attack speed plus 355 i wanted his attack speed relatively high mainly because i got the i got the infernal roar set on him this set is beautiful for him basic attack damage plus 40 percent so he he just keeps striking and his attack speed is very high i got it at 455 this is basically the best gear i have and i i don't know i use silas in about everything so of course i'm going to have some god gear on him right so if i miss someone i'm sorry honestly the builds don't really matter but i'm just going to go over baron and decimus real fast the main thing you want to do with both these guys it doesn't matter how you build them out it really doesn't the main thing you want to do is promote them both one time the reason why if you promote my boy baron right here it unlocks immortal wrath if you do not have him promoted one time you're not going to be able to use him for this strategy so make sure you promote him at least one time and when you do this gets unlocked basically he has unyielding he stays alive after death and then he is useful for this strategy and then the same thing with my boy down here sorry he's all the way down here let's go let's go where's he at where's he at uh decimus same thing with him i don't have him in that grade of gear shoot i don't even have a a, a piece right there for him but when you awaken him what or i'm sorry when you promote him one time he unlocks defiance where he stays alive after his hp drops to zero let's go he stays alive for six seconds very important to promote both these guys one time then that's basically how i have everyone built volka it doesn't really matter i know i did not go over volka's build but I, I don't really use her for this strategy. I'm just using her for her passive, or I'm sorry, it's not, I, I guess it's kind of a passive, but when you awaken her one time, allies redeployment time minus 25%. That's the main reason why we are using Volca. We don't need to put her out until the very end and it's just to soak damage, that's it. That's it, you don't need to build her out some crazy setup. I do have her an invigoration set, but you don't need it. It's not something that's super important, you don't, have to build her out any type of way we're just using her for her a1 and to basically soak some damage that's it so let's go ahead and get right into the strategy all right to start out we are going to start with the big booty clapper himself we're laying out my boy silas and then we are going to lay down laurel we're going to withdraw laurel ah we're going to withdraw laurel we're going to change it to two time right when he gets in range we're going to go ahead and pop silas's ultimate he's going to absolutely demolish this guy the second guy comes out he booty claps the next guy as well and then we're going to withdraw him it's a beautiful thing when a strategy comes together and now we play the waiting game we just wait we let big boy come out he does his shriek and honestly i tried a bunch of different strategies where i was trying to keep my squad alive and nothing would work this shriek would absolutely down everyone 
on level on excuse me on stage 21 shriek is no joke no joke at all all right so we're going to start with decimus remember decimus can stay alive after he dies that's why we need him um here let me wait let me wait wait for him to hit the ground a second time but then cost is also very important so we also want to make sure we withdraw decimus at the right time so wait for this guy to hit him change it back to one time right when he hits him boom withdraw let both of them start gaining their speed but then we're going to lay down my boy olog olog's going to kill them because they're both going to run into him and then what we're going to do is we're going to lay down vortex so we have vortex down this is very important we want these two big guys to target vortex so they don't kill silas right when they target boom we could go ahead and lay down silas we can lay down laurel we can lay down dolores and we'll lay down isold but then what we're going to do is we're going to withdraw her and then right when they get in range wait for it okay here we go here we go boom he starts booty clapping everybody guys boom 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 wait for him to kill this guy okay we're going to withdraw olog then basically we can withdraw everybody everybody's good just leave dolores and silas out there and then now we withdraw them let's go and then now we play the waiting game again he's going to do his little shriek do his little pout and then we just wait right after he does it two of them's going to be coming down they're coming down quick and slick look at them starting to gain speed gain traction they're wanting to make it to this portal that's their ultimate goal but we are going to stop them so there's no damage right here so you can go ahead and lay both these guys down um we'll keep it at one time speed just so i don't mess up i don't want to do this a bunch of times and it's very important right when he gets hit by the second guy boom he got hit withdraw get that back let's go then they both gain speed make sure that they're both gaining the little speed thing because if not they're not going to die we need them to run into uh the defender and then oh withdraw him and then right there they both gain speed we go ahead and lay him down boom and then we're going to go ahead and actually let's wait let's wait let's let these guys come in a little bit let them do their thing um wait for silas to come back up there we go there we go now we're going to lay him down going to lay her down basically rinse and repeat rinse and repeat guys come on come on get there all right I'm gonna go ahead and pop that. So Vortex dies, but that's fine. That's fine. We was just using him as a decoy. He healed him up a little bit as well. They're both gonna hit Silas, but he's gonna stay alive. Um, and then we are going to go ahead and start withdrawing. Start withdrawing. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Now we withdrew everybody. And now we play the waiting game again and we rinse and repeat. It's very simple, very simple. Um, okay, let me wait for him to come up. So basically this time he is actually doing damage. So we want to hold these guys as long as possible. When I say these guys, I'm talking about Decimus and Baron. All right, go ahead, let him come down, let him come down. He's going to pout a little bit, smash the ground. Um, you know what? We can lay him down right now. Make sure he's in the front. But then... This part is actually pretty simple as well. So what we're going to do, he hits him, couldn't withdraw in time. Make sure they both gain speed. They both gain speed. We're going to lay down. He sold. Then go ahead and withdraw. Let them both gain. And then we're going to lay her down. Basically, she's just going to take the damage. She dies. They die. Everything's all good. Um, we're going to go ahead and withdraw. He sold. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lay down Decimus, right? He's right here, baby. We're going to go ahead and let him start uh, whacking Decimus a little bit. Go ahead, hit him. There he goes. There he goes. We change that two time. He pouts. All right, so right here, he turned red. We got to wait for him to turn back to blue, which he already did. He didn't even pout that long, uh, but we got to wait for him to turn blue. Once he turns blue, then you can lay out your defender right here boom bingo bango oh shit okay then we're going to lay down vortex okay this was not the cleanest um but i should not have laid down olog actually um because he just died immediately 
But uh, nonetheless, we're going. We're going to beat it. We're going to beat it. Um, let me go ahead and do that. So preferably, if you have someone like Brock here, you can lay him down so he doesn't get one shot, right? Because he also comes with unyielding when he dies or he gets resurrected, I should say. Something like that. But we're going to go ahead and withdraw her, get both their ultimates, and then Silas is absolutely going to put in work. He's going to kill the boss quick and slick. So if you have Silas, you should be able to do stage 21. It's pretty easy. It's not hard. Like, you know, you do have to have a lot of attention to detail, but that's basically how we did it. Everybody played a key role. Honestly, you need every single hero. This is one of the few strategies where you need everybody. Everybody is crucial. The only ones that are replaceable is the defenders. You could use these three defenders, not Baron. Baron's not replaceable. You have to have Baron for the strategy, but these three guys, you could replace them. Um, but, you know, I went with the guys that are easier to get outside of Brock here, but I know a lot of people have Brock here already. So, you know, with, with this strategy, everybody should be able to do stage 21 as long as you have all these guys. And these guys are all pretty easy to obtain outside of Silas. But if you have Silas, this is a great strategy to use. And let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Hit me up in the comments. You guys have a great rest of your night and thank you for making it to the end.